Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, February the 13th. It's the sixth Sunday after the Epiphany, and week six in our psalm cycle. And please join me. Oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Alleluia. Psalm 19, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Day to day utter speech, and night to night shows knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voices are not heard. Their voices go out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And in them God has set forth a tent for the sun, which like a bridegroom comes out of his chamber and rejoices like an athlete running a race. It goes from one end of heaven to the other, and there is nothing hid from its heat. The law of God Most High is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of God is sure, making the simple wise. The statutes of God are right, giving joy to the heart. The commandment of God is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of God is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of God are true and righteous altogether. More than to be desired are they than gold, even than much fine gold sweeter than honey in the comb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can find their own errors? Cleanse me from my secret faults. Keep me from presumptuous sins. Do not let sin have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God Most High, my Rock and my Redeemer. Alleluia. God is our refuge and strength, our very help in times of trouble. Therefore we will not fear. Though the earth be moved and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters roar and foam and though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her early in the morning. The heathen raged and the kingdoms were moved. God spoke and the earth melted. God, Most High of hosts, is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Come, behold the works of our God. What desolations God has made on the earth. God makes wars to cease in all the earth. God breaks the bow and chatters the spear. God burns the chariot with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. God most high of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel is our refuge. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth your handiwork. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to Timothy, chapter 3, beginning at verse 14. I hope to come to you soon, but I am writing these instructions to you so that if I am delayed you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and bulwark of the truth. Without any doubt the mystery of our religion is great. He was revealed in flesh, vindicated in spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed among Gentiles believed in throughout the world, and taken up in glory. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will renounce the faith by paying attention to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the hypocrisy of liars whose consciences are seared with a hot iron. 
They forbid marriage and demand abstinence from foods, which God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected, provided it is received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by God's word and by prayer. If you put these instructions before the brothers and sisters, you will be a good servant of Christ Jesus, nourished on the words of the faith and of the sound teaching that you have followed. Have nothing to do with profane myths and old wives' tales. Train yourself in godliness, for while physical training is of some value, godliness is valuable in every way, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance, for to this end we toil and struggle because we have our hope set on the living God, who is the Savior of all people, especially of those who believe. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, seek the Most High while God may be found, and call upon God while God is near. Alleluia. A canticle of the prophet Isaiah, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, seek the Most High while God may be found. Call upon God while God is near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to God. God will have mercy on them, and abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Most High. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, watering the earth and bringing forth growth, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall be my word that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to be empty, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Seek the Most High while God may be found. Call upon God while God is near. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.